Whether you're a warm season or a cool season grass owner, your lawn season is either over or it's got one foot in the grave and another one on a banana peel. <laughs> We're about to hit that long stretch of nothing to do. And for a lot of us, having that stretch of nothing to do can be a bit frustrating. It can make us a little bit anxious, a little bit uh, antsy sitting around in the house, especially when it gets really cold outside or when we're covered in snow for some of us. But I keep getting asked some questions about what I can or can't or should or shouldn't do throughout the off season to keep myself a little bit busy and make a little progress towards the lawn for next season. So today we're going to talk about a few things that you might think about doing and some things that you shouldn't be doing. Uh, the first one, here's something that I like to do in the off season because if I wait until next spring, it's going to be much more difficult to get this accomplished. Now, a lot of you like to do the maintenance and oil changes and all that stuff on your lawnmower on your own. I don't, okay? That, that's one of the DIY things that I, I just leave to someone else. Uh, and here's why, I've got some friends that own a shop in town that do the servicing on small engines and lawnmowers and all that kind of stuff and it gives me a reason to go down there and mosey around and visit with them and support a local business. So during the off season, I will take my mower in and get the blade sharpened and the oil changed and a tune up done on that. That way I don't wait till next spring when everybody else is trying to do it and they're on a waiting list and I can't get my mower back in time to get things kicked off for the new season. So I will knock that uh, out throughout the off season to get that out of my way. Now the other thing I'll do, you just saw some leaves flying around. I don't have a lot of trees. Well, right now in the new yard, I don't have any trees, but there are some trees around the house and I get leaves in the lawn. Now I don't get like a massive covering of leaves, but I do get some that need to be picked up. I was out in the back lawn earlier today and noticed that a lot of my edges along my mulch flower beds are starting to get filled up with leaves. So I'm not going to rush to it right now because there's still leaves falling. So I will wait probably sometime after the first of the year once we get a nice warmer day and I'll get out and start cleaning some of those leaves up so they don't just get too much for next spring because then it just takes up a lot of time to get those cleaned out when I need to be working on other things. So if you've got a lot of leaves, you want to be getting those up, especially if you can't see your lawn. But if you've just got some leaves and you can see most of your lawn, they're fine staying there. But I will get the lawnmower out and I will mulch them up. I'm not going to bag them up. I'm not going to remove them. I'm going to mulch them up with the lawnmower and let all those leaves mulch down into the ground. And it's good and nutritious for the lawn. So if you've got leaves, that can be something you do to keep yourself busy throughout the off season. I said that I was in the backyard earlier taking care of uh, a few things and I noticed that my leaves were piling up in my, my edges along the mulch beds. Well, I was back there zapping a few weeds in those mulch beds. Now, we, we talk all the time that you don't really want to do a whole lot of weed control when it's not that warm out. Uh, you want those weeds to be really actively growing to soak up that weed killer and work most effectively. But uh, we've got some warmer temperatures coming over the next few days and some dry conditions as well. So I decided to roam the mulch beds with my uh, Spectricide Weed Stop Grass and Weed Killer and just zap whatever weeds I could see because there's some cool season weeds starting to come up through the mulch and those are actively growing right now. And I don't want those to really get out of control uh, through the off season. Now, once we start getting really cold temperatures and more freezes and the ground starts freezing over a little bit, depends on how rough our winter is, I won't see a whole lot in the way of that stuff. But for now, while it's unseasonably warm and dry and sunny, I'm gonna go out and zap weeds while I can so they don't get out of control. So you can, you can take care of servicing your equipment this off season. Uh, you can be working on picking up leaves and you can still be out there killing some weeds in your mulch beds if you've got some and the conditions are right for that. Now here's one I got this question a little bit earlier this morning about something that you shouldn't do in the fall. And this one is especially for you warm season Bermuda grass owners. Uh, someone was watching a video from a spring scalping uh, video 
couple springs ago, two or three springs ago, and asked if they should do that in the fall. No, you should not scalp your Bermuda grass in the fall. If anything, it's okay to let it get a little bit taller before it goes dormant, because that dormant grass is just going to act like a blanket and insulation over the winter time to prevent any harm that might come from harsh conditions like ice and snow and any other freezes that could result in any winter kill in your Bermuda grass. So no, do not scalp your Bermuda grass lawn in the fall. He would ideally like to keep it as tall and thick as possible, not only to insulate, but it will also keep any of the airborne winter weed seeds from flying into your lawn into bare spots, which would be the result of scalping. And then that gives them more the possibility of actually germinating and overtaking your lawn over the off season, especially if you didn't use a pre-emergent. So if you haven't used a pre-emergent, we did a video about this a couple videos ago. So I'll leave that one linked down below. Look, we always talk about best practices, best timing to do a lot of these things like pre-emergence and weed killers and all that kind of stuff. Just because you don't have your weed stop or I should say pre-emergent, my favorite is the Spectracide Weed Stop for Lawns Plus Crabgrass Preventer. Just because you don't have it down yet doesn't mean it's too late. So I'll leave that link to that video down below that will give you more information about getting a pre-emergent down even at this point in the season. So that's something else you can do if you haven't done it already. So you see that when the off season comes, it doesn't necessarily mean that there's nothing to do in the lawn. If you're like me, you like to get out and tinker a little bit. It can be something as simple as going out and picking up dog crap in the backyard. <laughs> that's another thing you could do if you have dogs, go out and pick up the dog crap because this time of year, eh, especially when it rains, it just gets nasty back there. and makes it tough for the kids to get out there and play on those nice days. Hey, here's some other things you can do. Christmas lights. If you've been following along on this channel at all, you know I love my Christmas lights. I'm gonna leave a few links down below to some videos from years past about Christmas lights, some of my tips and tricks and what I did at the old house. Now here at the new house, I still haven't done my light setup yet. And I don't know that I'm going to get to this year because I mentioned in a recent post that we have pulled the trigger to completely, and I mean completely, redo this front lawn, rip it all out, start from scratch, get rid of this big hill as much as possible. So if we break ground on that project, I won't be able to get my lights up this year, but I'll keep you posted on that because that's something you're going to want to follow along through this off season because in my lawn, that's definitely going to keep me kind of busy out here throughout the off season. And then next season, I know you've been tired of the backyard and that's all we've seen this year. Well, next year we're gonna be back up into the front and I won't have to bore you with the same old grass all season long. All right, my friends, that's gonna do it for this edition of Budget Lawns. I appreciate you joining me here as always. Your support does mean a lot to me and I hope to see you next time.